Good afternoon, everybody. How are you doing on this Saturday? Today's a, yeah, it's a nice day out. It's warm. That's why you can see this uh, thing up here. That's my fan going here in the room. <laughs> so today, I'm going to go over some more items that I've picked up from QVC during this pandemic. First, I want to get started with items that I don't have to put on for you or wear. So, first item I got, I got something so cute. Look at this kitty. Isn't that cute? And what it does is it hooks on to like one of your planter boxes or something or on a fence. So it looks like a kitty looking in, a, standing up to it. And the face just beautiful. Oh. <laughs> and I got this to go in our our yard down in Yuma when we're down there. So this is a, a grayish one. And um, what it's called is uh, from the fairy tale forest. It's a certificate of authenticity. And they're talking about how fairy tales are one of the oldest traditions in Germany. Most of them happen in the Black Forest and Bavaria. So therefore, GMS, which is the name of this company in Germany, created the, the Marchenwald brand, which is German for fairy tale forest, to give our customers the chance to bring <clears throat> a piece of fairy tale to their homes. The material consists of weather-resistant poly resin. Therefore, you can place the fairy tale forest figure inside and outside the house. And then what I got a kick out of is. <laughs> You know, talk about this being a, you know, certificate of authenticity and from Germany. But, where did I see it? One of these items, it says it's made in China. <laughs> Go figure. Anyway, I thought this was so cute. I mean, it's even got that little, little pink on the little paw pads, little foot pads. So... <laughs> Another item I picked up was this. Looks kind of funny, doesn't it? But what it is, is she put your, look at that. Because I am always sitting holding my, you know, my iPad on my lap like this. This way, I just sit it on my lap like this. No matter what I'm on, like when I'm in bed in the morning watching TV, I can set it over, like over here, and I can pull up a video and be watching a video at the same time watching the TV over there. And it also has one on this side to make it stand up, you know, if you want to have it up really straight. And then it's got uh, these little, couple little side pockets. So in the evening, before I'm gonna come into the bedroom for bed, I will stick my cell phone in here and anything else, you know, little things that I need to bring back in the room with me in there, and I can just carry this whole thing in. Uh, it zips, zips off, so if you get it dirty, you can wash it. But I thought that was a pretty cute idea. And they had this in many colors. Now, I picked a color that, of course, I love purple, but then it also won't show cat hair as much as, say, a darker color one. So that's what that is. It's back over here. And then my last non-clothing item are these Privé Riveau sunglasses. And what they do is, I got the blue set, there are two of them. They fit right over your regular glasses. And they don't show, you know, that you're, you're wearing other glasses under it. That way, you're not having to take your regular glasses off, put your sunglasses on, and you can't see distance or you can't see to read. Uh, I've had some of these that are cheaper that I get in, in Yuma. And they really work nice because you don't have none of that off, on, off, on. And uh, these were founded by, I think, what's his name? Oh, Jamie Jamie Foxx and a couple of other celebrities found, uh, created these. 
and there uh, it says from using polarized and blue light blocking lenses to crafting every pair of frames by hand we leave no stern stone unturned when it comes to creating head turning eyewear that offers the quality you want in the protection you need and uh, let's see these are they're hand assembled scratch resistant frames frames and yeah, UVA, UV, whatever, protection. Tiny riding, what can I say? Anti-glare. The, the uh, what's that say? Alkalon, Avalon, Acalon, <laughs> coated screws and polarized. Now the other pairs, they come in a nice little case. It's a solid blue pair. Closer for you. So I'm all set. I can have one in, one in one car, one in the other car. You know, one in my purse. Plus, I already have a pair from from Yuma that are purple. So these were, I think, they were like twenty twenty nine or thirty nine for a set of two, which works out to about if they were twenty nine, about fifteen a piece. So. I didn't figure that was bad with all that it does. Now, some of their glasses they make have little magnets on these little insides so that when you, if you want to put your glasses, you know, like a lot of people put them down here, they'll magnet together and they won't go falling off with, like when you, you bend over. But uh, these weren't one of those, which is probably why they were cheaper. <laughs> so that's the sunglasses. And now I'm going to do some clothing for you. So I'm going to need to get up and turn the camera around. And um, these should fit me because they're my normal size I, I get. In fact, this top is, is one of them. And the bottoms are one of them. So I'll talk about them in more detail once I thing around and, and get back to you. Okay, hold on just a minute. And I am back. Now this top is a Susan Graver liquid knit top. And uh, get it close, it's kind of a green with white squares design. It's got the uh, fluffy little sleeves, more like a little scoop neck and a little, a little tiny V here with a little uh, accent across there. And what's nice about these shirts is you can travel with them. You almost roll them up in a ball. In fact, I've got one here I can show you. This is the same shirt because these came two in a package. I got this one and this one. Navy, both the same, same pattern, same design. Like I say, Susan Graver brand, liquid knit, which look how tiny I can roll these up. I can crunch them up in a ball if I want, stick them in a suitcase, tuck them in somewhere. And when I get where I'm going, take it out and they don't wrinkle. They're so nice. For traveling, it's uh, they're made out of. Where's the tag? Got the uh, item number on here. Where's their? It's made out of. Egg? No, not another one. At any rate, it feels more like a polyester in a way, you know, but it's, they call it liquid knit because it's just like liquid. It's just so, so light and airy. These sleeves are nice. So, see, they come in the back. I'm going to show you like this, where your arms come out here, but the armpit goes up under your, your armpit, and then that goes down. I can show you better in this one. 
see how that uh, looks. And with this, I have on a pair of, oh, I get packed far enough. Oh, it's really hard to get these, but these are not your daughter's jeans. Let's see if I can lower the camera more to get more of a view. It's a little better. Anyway. Do, do. <laughs> and these are the, uh, I'll put my foot up. <laughs> these are the ankle length ones. Now these are normally, oh, as you, and if you buy these, no, these are like around $100 or more in the stores. And I managed to get these for 58 off of QVC. Of course, that's where I got this top too. So, we will move on to the next item. Hold on. Now this is another Susan Graver top, made with the, out of liquid knit. Goes down further in the back, kind of, uh, you know, short sleeves, a nice kind of crossover neckline let's see that very well let's pick this up you can see it's got and it comes over crosses here and then makes a little pleat going down the front now all these tops i'm still wearing the same jeans because i only got one bottom <laughs> but this pattern is cute it's bright pink and white I mean, this top would look great with white pants, you know, white capris, white shorts, navy, a lot of different colors. And this is another one that'd be perfect for traveling because they're, they're nice and flowy. Of course, I still, I'm at the old age where tops that come down loose like this remind me of maternity tops. You know, it's, I really fought wearing these for years. This is the first year I've been buying something like this because it just reminds me of maternity. You know what I'm saying? But I see all the young gals wearing them. So, uh, what the heck? You know, I'm not pregnant, even though I look like I am. So I'm going to move on to the last top. Just a moment. Now, this is a painter stripe denim and company top. It's got cream color, aqua, darker aqua, white, like little speckles in his, I don't know if you can, you can see the speckles, but really pretty colors. You know, scoop neck, regular, short sleeve, a little rounded at the, at the bottom, in the back. I had two others of these that I got last year and I really ended up liking them, so when they had them on sale this year, I thought, well, I'm going to get the blue one. And like I say, these are denim and companies. So they're like 95% um, cotton and, um, what was 95? 5% spandex. So you know, they, they wash up, they wash up really well. And like I say, I never put my things in the dryer, my shirts that is. So they always stay nice. And these look cute with, well, like like with the last shirt. White pants, khaki, light khaki. This color, dark aqua. A lot of different colors, as well as the dark navy. Black. Almost anything. So, what do you think? <laughs> so, I'm going to try on this next Pair, this next item is a pair of pajamas. Now, depending on how it looks on me, it depends on whether I'll come back on with it on. So hold on, be right back. Now here is a pair of, let's see. Goo -hoo. They are, let's see, where's the bag? These are Carol Hawkman pajamas. And they're, um, they're kind of, you know, they kind of come down to, to here. Let me try to adjust this camera again. 
I need to find out from my daughter how she gets so much of her items in hers. <laughs> anyway, you can see. It's, uh, you know, like Bermuda, Bermuda short length. But you know, I think the top is so cute. And you can almost wear it as a top. <laughs> look, at the, look at the pattern. I had gotten these to wear when we were going to go on the Caribbean cruise. It's got, you know, a nice, nice drawstring. Well, maybe, is there a drawstring? Let's see. Yeah, it's a drawstring, even though it's got the thick elastic waist on it. So I'm going to um, turn the camera around, sit down, and talk about it some more. So right back. And I am back. Ooh, it's so hot doing this. <laughs> Just why it's got the fan on. <coughs> anyway, back to these jammies. You know, they're they're uh, they're cotton. Just throw them in the wash. Throw them in the dryer. Put them back on. You know, but they're so cute. The pattern on them. <sighs> Let me see if there's any more info in the packet. I'm gonna crawl, lean across the bed. No, the only thing that came was this thank you. But I'm sure it's uh, it's cotton and probably cotton, some other little blend with it because I don't usually buy cotton, 100% cotton, but um, I like to get them a little bigger. So this one's like an extra large because that way, you know, I feel okay throwing them into the, the dryer because if they shrink up a little, big deal. I'm just wearing them to bed. <laughs> So I think that is everything. Let's see, I can go back over some of it. The, um, let's see, the, two, the two, two for top by Susan Graver. And with that came the, uh, the navy in the same design. One thing I forgot to mention about these, is they never fade, they don't pill. Cat hair or dog hair does not cling to them. So they're perfect for us animal lovers. Otherwise, I never wear navy because that's you know, my cat's favorite color. That and black and dark brown. So uh, I have several navy shirts that I just don't wear unless I'm traveling somewhere and they're not with me because of all the hair. So I've got this one I can I can even wear now. And the other top from Susan Graver was this pretty pink. I wonder if there's a oh well, this one was made in Vietnam. This one has a, a uh, it doesn't have a this machine wash cold. Tumble dry low. It's got the item number, but other than that, there's just no. Um... <laughs> no fabric content, but like I say, it's just you can see how. Like comparing it to uh, uh, to this cotton one, it's a big difference in the in, you know the. This just flows more. So I've gotten three Susan Graver tops that are probably safe for traveling. <laughs> if I ever get to travel again. And then this, uh, this Denim, and, uh, Denim and Company striped top. And I can tell you probably the exact fabric contents on this one. really <laughs> just the how to wash them oh here it is six and 95 percent cotton five percent spandex so huh. maybe it was on these others too let's see and i just thought it was something else but 
Nope. But anyway, uh, Susan patented this also, this material. So that will do it for today. And, and no, I'm not going to stay in my jammies, though it's tempting. I'm going to put on what I had on earlier before I started trying all these items on. <laughs> so I hope you're all having a good weekend. Um, depending on what comes in the mail, I may not be on for a few days because I don't really have anything else to share with you at the moment. Things are on the way. Most of them come around the first of a month, so that's when, you know, we'll get busier. So, uh, hope you're having a good weekend. Hope your family are all still well, and uh, I love you all, and I'll talk to you later. Oh, forgot one thing. If you have any comments, please make a comment down below. If you like my videos, please hit the little like button. And if you have not already subscribed, please hit the little subscribe button and that will cause a little bell shape to come up. You click on that bell, hit notifications all, and you'll be notified whenever I post a new video right away. And again, I appreciate all of you who have subscribed to, to my, uh, my, my site. <laughs> it's, it's encouraging. You know, because you know, how many old ladies can do this stuff? It's all the young, cutesy little girls. You know? <laughs> so, hang in there. Summer's got to get better. Uh, if, if not this year, then next year. It better be better. Mm. <laughs> so, I love you all. Goodbye.